We're on the hunt to find the biggest trophy in non-league football. Forget about the Dalla Trophy in golf, the President's Cup in sumo wrestling, and even the Stanley Cup in ice hockey. Tonight, we are down at Banbury United because they have won the biggest shield we have ever seen in football history. While we try and find this bad boy, here are some quick fire facts about Banbury United. They've reached the first round of the FA Cup a whopping six times. The last time they did that was last season against Barrow, which they lost 4-0. They were established in 1931 at Spencer Sports Club, a works team of the Spencer Corset Factory. The search for the shield had officially started. First stop was the boardroom. There were some lovely snacks on offer, but despite a cabinet full of trophies, the shield was nowhere to be seen. So we headed back out onto the pitch to ask you this World Cup question. If you could choose between England winning the competition or the team you support winning their domestic title, what would you choose? Let us know in the comment section below. I'm going Arsenal all day long. Come on, you gooners. Let's see what the Banbury players would do. Would you rather England win the World Cup or Banbury get promoted to the National League? Banbury get promoted. Easy question. Banbury. England to win the World Cup or Banbury get promoted? Pick one. Banbury promoted. Banbury get promoted. There you go, easy. I'm ready to get promoted to the National League. Do you have to think about it a little bit? Yeah. I love watching England. <laughs> On the off chance the shield was in the home dressing room, we thought we'd go check it out. We came across this huge speaker, tonight's team tactics, the fine wheel, and a shed load of energy gels, plus a load of BMW keys. Whilst there was no trophy, Scott decided to try on the home kit. The badge is properly stitched on, the club sponsor is looking sharp, and the club's colours are vibrant throughout. So we were back down the tunnel and had a quick look around the ground, and how nice is this shot by the way? And on our travels we found the perfect spot to tell you about the club's crest. Here's a quick history lesson for you, the club's nickname is the Puritans. Now Puritans were Protestants back in the 16th and 17th century. Banbury was an area strongly known for being Puritan. Puritan people People would go around wearing this capitan and also wear a tall crowned black conical hat and that is pretty much all you need to know at this point you're probably wondering how did they win this shield well let me tell you they won the southern league premier division central by a whopping 23 points that meant they went into a playoff against prem south winners taunton Unfortunately, Taunton didn't fancy the trek up to Banbury, so the Puritans were awarded the shield, which has been around since 1894 and includes previous winners Southampton and Tottenham. Wait a minute, Tottenham won a trophy? <laughs> Behave. Now it's time to speak to the gaffer, Andy Wing. Andy, you won the lead by 23 points last year. What do you put that success down to? Well, we had young, hungry, athletic, enthusiastic players who wanted an ambition to get play higher up, the, higher up the pyramid. We've still got that team as well, so they want to strive to be better all the time. And, you know, they were just, just ruthless last season. We've, we've started the season really well. Uh, they're a real young group and, um, you know, I'm sure they'll, they'll be better for it. I had a quick look in the change room and I saw the point cycle from last season. What was your thought process behind that? We put the games into blocks of five. We had a, we had a set points target within them five games and then obviously it all added up to, to I think it's playoffs in, in, in the end and it just gives little targets not you know obviously we had the end goal in mind and getting promoted but just little targets throughout the season that we that we hit we're not looking too far ahead uh, and that was the thinking behind it to be fair. You won arguably the biggest trophy I've ever seen <laughs> what do you make of that is it the biggest trophy you've ever seen? Well the, that's your one the little one for the cup we, we, we I think we broke that we lifted it up and the, the, the things come up they come <laughs> off but uh, the the, uh, the actual shield shield uh, I think you can go near it. I don't think you can pick it up. I think you need a few to pick it up. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Okay, so we find ourselves in the Banbury United Club shop, run by the lovely John. John gives away. <laughs> right, so we're here. We're going to look at a few of the items and pick out a bargain of the week. So, as you see, we've got plenty going on. We've got some pens, some programs, scarves. I heard there's a lot more items coming in soon, John. Yeah, there is, yeah. yeah he's nodding at us. Um, I've picked out two items this week, and that's item of the week um, up on items. And um, the first one is this lovely coaster, doubles up as a bottle opener, double whammy, and it's only going to cost you one pound. And on this one, I just had a little soft spot for it. Um, I'm not sure if it's for heads or teapots, but uh, I'm gonna I'm get myself this little hat as well. What do you think? Let me know. This is my items of the week. Time was running out, and so far, this was the only shield we found. So for no reason at all, we went on the pitch to ask the coach, what do the players do for a warm-up? Boys come out, we did a little bit of a warm-up down there, a bit more technical, uh, like 
calves, hammies, all of that stuff. Got into a passing drill, a little bit in here, kept the tempo up and things like that. And then jumped in on here, six v four, keep ball, bit of overload, get the boys running, move the ball fast. Finished with a bit of shooting. Boys were ledge tonight, so hopefully we can get a few goals. Let's see how good these boys look tonight then as they make their way out for the first half. The game got underway with Banbury on the attack down the right-hand side. A little bit of jostling and the ball is finally dinked into the back post. The header and it's catching practice for the keeper. Chester were on the attack. The ball was high in the air. He was bundled over. The ref clearly says no foul. But then this happened. Shoulder barge to the chest. That is a penalty which was dispatched by Chester. Banbury were down the left-hand side. The ball was cut back and it's gone in. Surely there was a deflection. This replay will show you that, yes, that was a deflection. At half-time, we were invited onto Puritans Radio to talk about location football and their massive shield. Tonight's video is all about finding the biggest trophy in non-league football. And I hear you guys might have it. It's a massive shield that I hear, I hear is tucked away somewhere hidden. So we're trying to find it. This game, twenty points at one one. How's it going to go in the second half? Well, I can only see a Barry winner. That's it. I'm going to go. I'm going to go three one. Put my neck out on the line. I fancy it. Great stuff, James. Thank you very much for coming. My pleasure. Thank you. Just, all the very best going. For Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Absolutely class. We've just been on the, the Puritans radio station. We have to go and find this shield. It's huge. The guy just showed me a picture. It's absolutely ginormous. There's always time for a three-word burger review. Take it away, Scott. Another club, another burger. Let's see what we got this week. So we've got the, the single patty, got a sliced cheese, onions in there, topped off with mustard this week. That is sauce of the week. This sent me about six pound fifty with a cup of tea included. Let's see how it tastes. Ooh, puffy. Tantalizing. Bamberific. Cheers. The second half got underway with a lovely touch down the left hand side, who tries to beat his defender, gets the shot off, and hits the side netting. Chester had a corner that came into the box and managed to find its way to the edge of the box and find its way into the car park. The guy down the left got the absolute Bunsen burners on again, cuts inside, it's a brilliant bit of skill. He lays it back for the strike that Banbury dispatched. But was there a deflection? Yes, there was. We do love a deflection. Into the last knockings of the game, Banbury were desperate to try and hold on to all three points, but Chester got their equaliser. The game may have ended in a draw, but guess what we found? Apparently, the big shield is in this container. Let's go check it out, lovers. Extra light in here from the legend Neil. And look at the size of this trophy. It's got three different layers that they build up over the years. Some huge names on there, QPR, Millwall, Southampton, and Tottenham. But do they get any bigger than that? Look, it comes up to like, a third of me and I'm six foot, almost. Let us know if there are any other trophies that are bigger than this. I don't think there is. Don't forget to subscribe to Location Football and we'll catch you in the next video.